Alright, so hey people, my name is Sang. In, uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna teach you how to uh, open up your laptop and replace your thermal compound. Well, well, I hear you ask, why, why should I open my laptop and change the thermal comp, change its thermal compound? Well, uh, you might have noticed, you might have aware that in laptop and in PC in general, they usually have uh, they usually have what this thing what is called the overheating, overheating, which is when your PC and laptop getting overheat by the by the processing of the laptop. Uh, so, so how this thing happen? Well, so when your laptop you start working when your laptops start to process things like let's say a video or it's rendering like a project of yours for example so what it does is that it needs like so what it does is it use the power to process this in like the CPU part of your laptop which well when it used power you create a heat and when it's created heat is make the laptop heat up which is why the CPU is connected to a heat pipe which is connected to the laptop fans which you can see in here these are the fan here behind the bar thing you cannot see much but it's there and then it's blow out the, these part and uh, and why would overheating be an issue when there's, there's thing like that well the problem is that uh, the, these things are secondary only to the most the most important part of cooling inside a laptop, which are the thermal compound that is the thin layer between the CPU and the heat pipe that's connecting it to the fan. When uh, a laptop is used, this the thermal compound such as these are. Uh, are very easy to get expired by drying up or just uh, having f drying up or just getting dispersed by the electrical that going through them which is why when uh, people usually go to warranty and have their thermal compound changed every few months every half a year or two mine personally I have like one every year so so in this video I'm gonna teach you how to like do it yourself more style is it's easier and it's co it's cost is more cost effective because well once you do it yourself and two you doesn't have to uh, deal with the warranty and costing your ta time and money to go and get some thermal compound fix so why should I encourage you to uh, change your con your thermal compound by yourself? Because let's admit it that the company that make these uh, laptops doesn't have the best thermal compound that we usually see in the market. In uh, the market, you can have like very good thermal compounds such as Grizzly Cryonaut Arctic, Arctic, and other high performance and easy to use home compound that is very widely available on market. What I have right here is a cheap one I bought in the market, electrical market. So it's uh, it's not much but it's usable. So so what I'm gonna show you is that I'm gonna show you how to open up the laptop and and show you all the nitty gritty stuff of how to open this thing up and changing the term compounds all that is in this video all right so enough talk we're gonna sh so here i'm gonna open up all the screw in the laptop Alright, 
in this part we what we're gonna do is that we're gonna open this one right up there we go easy and this the one is connected to the computer via this wire so I'm gonna pull it out and there we go we have the the storage area which is very very easy in fact alright we just gonna place it one in one place and we and then continue with prying open this one I got this one open and will you look at that look at all this so I will show you this is what you're gonna see when you open up a laptop it might get overwhelming at first but believe me but believe me when I say that this thing is very easy and straightforward to do you see these two this is a fan and this is a battery so what the first thing you're gonna need to do is to disconnect the battery and then move on to the the good part the, the part that I'm going about to show you so uh, in this state uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna unscrew some screw that are attached to this this and this and that into the fan and uh, the CPU the, the spot where the connecting between the CPU and the heat pipe itself is here so you gotta do what you're gonna do is that you're gonna bring another piece of plastic right here you're just gonna unscrew all the screw in it Maybe easily. I hit my freeze dry to state of mind Paint the world in the shade of So now this is a part. This is a good part. So look at this. Right there. Sorry. All right. Look at this. So this right here is the thermal compound. These these white stuff on the thermal compound. It's get old, and it need to be replaced by this one. But hold on your host, you don't need to like overlap them. First thing you need to do is to clean them out. Uh, presumably with tower, which are already applied using like some some sort of alcohol to help with the cleaning. But you can do it without it. Uh, I don't see any trouble in doing it anyway, so yeah. Yeah, also so First, need to do is to wipe this one clean. Avoid avoid contact with the, the thermal compound itself because it's very hard to clean out of. And try not to like mess it around around these parts so that you're gonna have a hard time. It's not like it's like electrically conducted. It was built to not be electrical conducted. If it was built to electrically conduct, uh, let's say that you. Your computer won't stand a chance if it's like get out of this one. <laughs> and it's uh, needing a little repairing. The fan have like significantly smaller screw, smaller screw. So I need a smaller head, which is why I bought this one because it's have it's provide me a, a variety, a variety of of screw of screw so that I can open these spot and like get my can get an access to the fan, which is uh, very. Which the screw that held the fan together is very small. That's why I bought this one with a variety of thing like this.
on up slowly. There we go, and now I get access to the fan, which is steaming with. Look at this. Well, when you look at that, now you, when you look at this closely, you can clearly see the dust that has settled in this. Look at this. This is a month of dust that was covering up my laptop and it was causing the laptop to lose in its performance and look at these man these look dirty this is gonna need a cleaning So what you need to have is you need to have one part you have to have token power on this part and this part and I and one thing when you try to do this is try with the best of your ability to try to make like a thin piece of paste right right there no need to get much no need to get more just right there that's it and do the same thing on the other one uh, you can go ham on it really but it's just gonna make a bigger mess next time around that you open it just like this one you wanna do two yeah you can do that but also one more thing one more piece of advice uh, try to like dip this one down so that it doesn't create air bubble what is air bubble is like this piece of that's the, like the pocket of air that's uh, in the thermal compound itself it's gonna cause uh, like a heat heating issue and you gotta do it all over again I learned it the hard way Easy, 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 need a wet lemon squeezy. Dark.